fantastic. Good morning. It is 27 minutes after 9 o'clock. And joining us in studio this morning for his uh, monthly visit, Robert Reynolds back with us. Morning, Robert. Morning, Mike. Morning, everybody. Happy New Year to you and your family. Yeah. Had a, did you have a good celebration ringing in the New Year? Yeah, so much for bed at 10 o'clock. Nice. That's the <laughs> way I like ringing it in too early. <laughs> I figured it'd be there if I wake up. That's right. Well, I wake up in the morning, it's the new year. I mean, whether the ball dropped and I saw it or not, I guess, right? Well, years ago, I had too many hangovers. There you go. When yeah. I was younger. Yeah, the younger the younger we are, we think it's great. And as we get older, we're like, Psh, uh, I'll stay up an hour later. That's my tribute to <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> to, uh, to New Year's. Um, for folks that aren't familiar, Robert joins us uh, each month and fills us in on a lot of different uh, things and events that happen in and around our community here. Um, good news is some places that have been closed for a long time are starting to uh, open their doors again here. Uh, unfortunately, senior circles still closed. Still closed. Uh, we yeah. have not heard one way or another whether that's going to be opening anytime soon, but hopefully they'll be opening up here in 2022 at some point. Yeah, I called the hospital, and they, they, they don't know nothing yet. Okay. I think they're they're probably just – they got bigger fish to fry right now, so they're probably tending to those needs. And then uh, when they feel it's appropriate, they'll, they'll address senior circle and that kind of stuff. But good news is uh, for folks that have been wanting to go over to the Wilson Cobb Library for the Genealogical Society, they are now uh, opening back up their doors to the public here and to folks that love to come out and – and uh, do some genealogy with them. Yeah, this is the first time in almost two and a half years uh, at one thirty at Wilson Club Library. Okay. It's just coming Thursday the 13th, and uh, everybody's welcome to come. Okay. And about the ancestors, and they're going to have a, a special guest speaker. Oh, great. So that's uh, this Thursday, one thirty p.m., Again, at the Wilson Cobb Library, which is uh, it's right here on Richardson. It's right up the street there. Yeah, on the corner of Richardson and Alameda. Yes, yeah, right there. Um, and then, of course, if you're interested in becoming a member, uh, it's like five bucks. It's very affordable for the year. It's very to be a member of the of the the genealogical society. And and the great thing about it is um, they have all the accesses to the ancestry dot coms and all that stuff. But they also have the Wilson Cobb Library that's got a huge index and library of 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 genealogical history of of people in our community and you have access to all of that as well too to becoming a member so yeah they're open from one to four on wednesday and friday okay uh if we can come in and and uh use the books and stuff okay but uh if you'd like to come back come out this thursday 1 30 for their special meeting and presentation uh with a guest speaker and everything else there and of course talk to the staff there if you're interested in becoming uh more involved with the genealogical society yes yeah. Cool. Very cool. So this Thursday, uh, give us an update on your High Prairie Ooh. Poetry Society. You guys are just now getting back to meeting again. How's everything going there? Yeah, it's going good. I still, I gained two people. I got thirteen people now. Nice. And uh, we're meeting at Burger King this coming Saturday at two o'clock. Okay. And uh, any age is welcome to come out and do the poetry lesson, do poetry, read poetry, whatever. Okay. And uh, uh, just show up, and you you can have a a good time. Yeah, absolutely. It's um. Uh, like you said, this Saturday, you come on at 2 o'clock, you said? Yeah. Um, come out to the Burger King, and uh, you guys will have a corner there at the place. And you sit down, and uh, if you'd like to recite some poetry you wrote and share, awesome. Yeah. If you just want to come and sit and listen to other people uh, recite poetry, awesome. If uh, if you want to do something you maybe that you didn't necessarily write, but it means something special to you and want to share with others, come on out. And, and like I said, if you just, you just want to come and hang out and socialize and, and learn a little and hang out with some people that like poetry too. Come on out to the Burger King again this Saturday at two o'clock. Uh, I'm sure if you're hungry, you can get a meal or something there. And uh, if not, you can just sit down and enjoy a cup of coffee or a beverage and sit and, uh, and take part in the meeting there too. Uh, we're only there about two, two and a half hours. Okay. Very good. So that, again, that's this Saturday, two o'clock at the Burger King here in Ross. Yeah. Perfect. Um, give us, uh, of course, by talent, they've got blood drives coming up. Uh, give us an update there. Yes. Uh, that's how blood donation. Mm -hmm. Uh, they need, uh, old positive in any, any, any type. And, uh, their number is 575-840-8178. Yes. Uh, for folks here in Roswell, excuse me, hiccups. Uh, they got a blood drive this Friday, uh, January 14th at the Vitalent office. From eleven to three, and uh, and then all you, if you want to get an appointment, just call the number that that Robert mentioned here. It's Stephanie. 
Uh, you can also text that number. It's her cell phone. So you can call or text Stephanie with Vitalant, 575-840-8178. Uh, if you can't make Fridays, they'll do it again Tuesday next week, the 18th, from 1 to 5 at the Vitalant office. So sign up and donate blood, especially if you're the O or those more rare blood types that are always in demand. Uh, yeah. Get on the regular schedule there with Vitalant if you can. It's a very easy way to help out in our community. And and uh, we got some great people that have donated like gallons and gallons of blood uh, they do on the regular. Uh, you're pretty regular. You go a couple times a year. I go uh, every two months. Yeah, so about six times a year you're going to to donate blood, so it's great. Uh, but if you'd like to get involved, call Stephanie at Vitalant, uh, 575-840-8178 there. Uh, talk about uh, what's happening at Trinity Methodist Church. Talk about services and everything uh, there. Trinity Methodist Church is a 9 a.m. service, 11 a.m. service, and uh, us being in the... Uh, 9 a.m. service, and everybody's welcome to come. And uh, in our early service, we just have 10 people. But, uh, you never know uh, if somebody will, will just listen. If you want to go to a church, uh, we've got nice people and everything. Yeah. And uh, Pastor Young, and uh, they'll uh, uh, take care of you there. Very good. So they got the early service there and then uh, the later service, uh, which is probably more popular because people like to sleep in on Sunday mornings. <laughs> <laughs> But if you like to get up early, come out to the early service, and uh, which begins at nine, right? Yeah. And uh, enjoy that. You'll have a you got a little elbow room in the pews there to stre- stretch out a little bit. Yeah, we got we got plenty of room. <laughs> <laughs> and the early bird gets the worm, right? You get up early, and then you got the rest of your day to to yeah. to do what you want there. So uh, go watch your favorite football team get get smoked on on national TV. That's that's what I usually do. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, of course, uh, for folks that aren't familiar, uh, Robert has uh, been going to Sun Country Physical Therapy for years now, and uh, thanks to them, you've lost 100-plus pounds and have really gotten in the shape over the last several years here, um, and uh, you always like to give them a plug and a shout-out, and if folks need services from just getting into shape again to uh, rehab from, from, a, from a surgery or an injury, they can help with all that stuff. Yes, uh, I've been going there eight and a half years now, and I lost 126 pounds, and I'm I'm keeping it off by going to the gym, and and uh, Daryl, he's the owner, and he helps me out quite a bit. Very good. And uh, they're open from eight, eight eight to five, Monday through Thursday, and Friday they're open from eight to noon. Okay. And they, they got walk-in also. Good deal. And they're uh, 800 West Second here yeah. here in town. Very good. But yeah, if you're looking for help there. I know we're in the January. A lot of people have New Year's resolutions to get in shape or get healthy. Uh, if you're already slipping off that little that little horse, uh, coming a week into the new year here, uh, maybe give a reach out to Sun Country and let them get you back on the path there. Yeah, it's like over Thanksgiving, instead of gaining weight, I lost three pounds and, and, and uh, ate the regular amount. Wow, uh, well, you're one of the you're one of the few. Something. Yeah, you're one of the few. I'm pretty sure I gained weight over my. <laughs> Uh, that's one thing I go home to visit relatives and they're all cooking. Uh, and like my in-law, my brother and his wife, my sister-in-law, she's Italian and oh my goodness, she spent Christmas cooking everything. I mean, just Italian dishes, pizza to prime rib to, uh, cakes and cookies and just a slew of stuff. A little bit of everything. Uh huh. I was eating heartily. And uh, when we weren't eating at the house, we were out eating somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Come on over. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I did not lose weight over these <laughs> holidays. Uh, talk about what's going on in Alamogordo. Are they doing like a ghost walk or something there? Give it, give, give, uh, tell me a little bit about that. They got the historical ghost uh, uh, program. Okay. It's coming uh, uh, this Saturday. It's the first one, January 15th and okay. February 12th, March 12th, and April 9th. That's the four. Okay. That's the Roadrunner expose. You go to the Facebook event, and it's thirty dollars a person. Okay, so if you like the the ghost tours and all that kind of stuff, they got their first one coming up here January fifteenth, but they'll be doing it again in February and March each month, mid month around twelfth uh, on the twelfth of February and March there too. Yeah. So very cool. Um, the flute ensemble. There, I guess they're going to start doing their practices and things at the at the, uh, there. If the Roswell Flute Ensemble, they're getting their practices and getting back together doing yeah. their thing. Well, it's uh, it's at the Anderson Museum at 6 o'clock on Thursdays. Okay. And uh, you must be experienced. And uh, just come on out and uh, 
They said you could uh, have a lot of fun. Okay, so if you're a, a flutist, flautist, uh, you a flute player. <laughs> I could do the Porky Pig, a flute, 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 flute player. <laughs> uh, then you can. Uh, they would love to have you part of the Roswell Flute Ensemble. They meet uh, every Thursday, 6 p.m. at the Anderson Bethany Museum yeah. there. So uh, come on out, bring your flute, and uh, do an audition. And like you said, they are looking for experienced flute players. So uh, this isn't a learn how to play flute. If maybe you played uh, in school or something and you haven't picked it up in a few years and you're wanting to get back playing again, or maybe you're playing by yourself at home and looking for others to play with, um, come out to the Anderson uh, Museum here uh, on Thursdays at 6 p.m. And, and get involved there. So very yeah, cool. My favorite instrument is the saxophone. Ah, I can play no instrument. I am not good at any instrument. I am in fourth grade. Uh, they gave me the recorder. Remember the recorder? Yeah. And I could play hot cross buns or three blind mice, depending on where you come from. It's the same tune. Do, 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 do. I could play that because it only required three buttons on the recorder. If it, cause they have that button in the, the hole in the back. And then the, the, there was whatever, six or seven holes in the front, but you have to put the hole in the back and then you hit the buns to play the notes. I could do. Those top three notes, no problem. Mm -hmm. But if I had to put a finger over that fourth hole, it it just it sounded like I stepped <laughs> on a duck. It was ever and it was worse on down. And at that point, they're like, maybe you shouldn't play the recorder anymore. And they gave me sticks, and uh, I botched those too. So I, I have no musical mm -hmm. ability. I like music to a point, but I can't play it. So so I, like I'd love to learn how to play guitar. Like if I if I knew how to play, but I don't have the patience nor the nor the 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 just the mental capacity to learn those things. It's not. Now I've got a guitar and it's been thirty years with a collection dust. Yeah, <laughs> my wife can play a little bit. I can't. I cannot <laughs> play. So, but uh, if you're interested, please come out to the to the Anderson Museum on on Thursdays at yeah. six. Be a part of the flute ensemble. Uh, give us an update of what's happening at uh, First United Methodist Church there. Yeah, for the first time in in over two years, the uh, First Methodist Church is having their dinner. At 5 p.m., and then they have a service from 6 to 7. Okay. And you don't have to go to the service if you don't want to. And they put out great dinners every Wednesday and, night, too. Yes. Yeah, They uh, and anybody can come and eat and uh, have a nice meal. There's $6 a, a person. Yeah. And uh, this Wednesday, they're having the ham, scalp, potatoes, green beans, lots of dessert, and tea and, and juice to drink and uh, coffee yeah and it's a lot of food so if you want to feed like bring your family down and it's six bucks a plate man it's pretty cheap you go back for seconds if you want they got carry outs also nice so if you if you can't make it and then of course if you'd love to stay for services you're more than welcome but if you want to go home and finish your night that's that's entirely up to you but yeah. uh they do but they put on great meals i'm our american legion post meets over there so yeah. sometimes we back in the day because they just started doing it again like you said We'd be around when the when the food was around, and you'd be like, "What's going on over there?" They had some good eats over there. Like one day it was like beef stroganoff and good good food. But ham and scalp potatoes, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, they they have their Spanish cook this time. Just go and be there. All right. Well, I I, I heard food, and I'm, that's all I need. I'm good to go. So yeah. so I'd love to have folks come out. Uh, I guess beginning uh, this Wednesday and now every Wednesday they're going to be doing yeah, every Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, they'll be doing their meals uh, beginning at 6 p.m. there at First Standard Methodist Church. Great. That's great to hear. Uh, let's talk about, um, is this a grief support group that we're talking about? Yeah. Uh, number uh, 10 there, Cancer? No, Cancer with Grace. Ah, uh, Cancer with Grace support group. Thank you. Tell yes, me a little bit about that. Cancer with Grace is a support group. It's uh, in room 103 at Grace Community Church, and it's on Tuesday and Thursdays at 6 p.m. Okay. And for more information, you can call the office, but uh, uh, you just come... Uh, at uh, 6 o'clock. Okay. And uh, I imagine that's people that are battling cancer or have family that are battle cancer and, and dealing with the, the turmoil that surrounds that. And, and it's a group of people that chewed some of the same ground you have and uh, could help there. So I yeah. love, yeah, that's a great idea. So again, they meet uh, on, um, there at Grace Community Church uh, every uh, Tuesday and Thursday at 6 p.m. Yeah. So very good. Uh, let's talk about Kiwanis Club and, uh, they're, uh, they're, they're, uh, I guess they're meeting every, uh, second and fourth Tuesday of the month. Uh, they're going to be doing their pancake breakfast again too, soon too. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, look for that coming up here in the, in the spring, I think in April, March, April time frame. 
their uh, pancake breakfast out at the convention center. But but if you're interested in becoming part of the Quanas, they meet the the second and fourth Tuesday of the month at Los Cerritos or Cerritos Mexican Kitchen. Yeah, which always has good food. Uh, their phone is five seven five five one three eight one one nine. Yep. Uh, and ask for Larry. Yeah, and uh, don't forget they're selling tickets for their John Denver show right now, which is February uh, the nineteenth uh, at the Roswell Community Little Theater. Uh, it is a fundraising event for the Kiwanis Club of Roswell and for the Roswell Community Little Theater. Kiwanis Club's raising money for the all-inclusive park. Uh, the Community Little Theater, they're raising money for the roof of their facility. But if you love John Denver, Ted V. Hill, oh, this guy yeah. looks like John Denver and sounds just like John Denver. He's going to be doing two shows, 2 and 7 p.m. on the 19th. Uh, tickets, $40 for VIP. That includes uh, you get to the VIP room, and they got drinks and snacks and things like that. You get preferred seating, or you can just get reserved seats for 30 bucks. Uh, either way, go to uh, roswelltheater.com or call uh, Lori, uh, that number we gave you, 575-513-8119. Now also, John Venter sings West Virginia, uh-huh. and I was born and raised in West Virginia. Yeah, well, he's he's got, you were born, yeah, He's he spent time here in Roswell because his yeah. dad was at uh, Ros- at uh, Walker Air, Aviation Mus- uh, Air Force Base there. He was stationed there mm-hmm. during uh, during that time. So, yeah, John Denver. Uh, all right, let's talk about uh, Tucumcari, their Rawhide Days. Yeah, Tucumcari, the Rawhide Day Film Festival, is until March the, uh, 30th of, of, of 2022. There's two of them, April 29th okay. and May 1st. And the film, uh, you can go to filmfreeway.com for more information. Okay. And it's April 29th and May 1st. Very good. Excellent. So if you want to get out there and... Uh, Watch some uh, local films, things like that. That's a great chance to do that. Yeah. Uh, open auditions for uh, who's who's doing the play there? Um, I can't read that. Uh, who's putting on the play there? Yeah. But auditions for the next play is happening. This is a Carlsbad Open audition oh, for okay. the play Love Letters. Okay. The theater is forty seven fifteen National Park Highway. It's going to be from six to nine p.m. The dates are February eleven and thirteen, February eighteen and twenty. And call Deanna Hoop at 575-988-4509 for more information. Okay, very cool. Uh, and then up next we have, uh looks like a church uh, concert coming up here. Uh, you want to tell folks a little bit about that? Oh, yeah, the, uh, this is a free concert. Okay. It's going to be at Highland Baptist Church uh, this coming Thursday at 630. And he's got uh, gospel music. And uh, uh, this gentleman... He, he sang at the Bronson, Missouri, at the Country and Western uh, uh, Auditorium there. Okay. He's real popular. Okay, cool. And he, he's going to be there this Thursday at, at 6.30. Okay, very cool. So if you want to get a great little concert there for free, come on out and have some fun there. Yeah. Good deal. Uh, give us an update. January 13th, Roswell Garden Club. I guess they're going to be uh, doing some work over at the Historical Society, huh? Yeah, for the Roswell Garden Club. At 9.30 a.m., this is also the 13th. Okay. Historical Society, 208 North Lee Street. We'll have refreshments, and everybody's welcome to come. Nice. So they get out there and do a little gardening and uh, making, keeping that, that, that property beautiful over there. So very cool. I love, appreciate when the Garden Club does that. They, they do a lot better than I could. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's talk about the event happening uh, the 14th at the Roswell uh, Museum. This Roswell Museum and Art Center, uh, it's going to be an art lecture. In the open reception at 5.30 p.m., Maria Alonson uh, will be there with the exhibition until February 27th. Very good. Awesome. So uh, if you want to come out and check out this uh, this particular uh, piece and all that stuff, go out and, out and head out and uh, check it out at, at the ex- mm-hmm. exhibition hall there. And it'll be, like I said, there, the displays will be on through uh, February the uh, 28th there. So yeah. very cool. Um, of course, uh, you, if you're a gospel music fan, you do have your gospel CD available, uh, songs that you wrote original 14 songs, original songs that you singing accompanied by piano. And yeah. if you'd like to have that for your, for your, uh, music collection, Robert would be happy to get you a copy. Yes. We'll give you the number when we get done. Okay. Very good. Uh, and a couple more things we want to talk about, uh, Pecos Valley Quilters, they're meeting again. Give us an update there. The yeah, Pecos Valley Quilters are meeting the first Wednesday. Uh, of, of every month uh, in room one, one, 111 at the First Master's Church 
And you can call 622-1881 for the time. Okay. Very good. So if you're interested in being part of the quilters uh, or, or uh, want to help with any of that stuff, then I'd uh, love to have you at their next meeting there. And then, uh, and then they've got a community outreach uh, life changes event coming up here as well. Tell folks about that. Yeah, the community outreach life changes. You can call 505-288-0332. It's a request for help on the drug and alcohol abuse and uh, uh, mental mental situations and stuff. Okay. And, uh, they'll, they'll be glad to help you. Very cool. And then uh, one more thing we want to put on everyone's radar if you missed it earlier. Uh, City of Roswell will once again be hosting their uh, father-daughter Valentine's Day dance. It'll be at the convention center there on February 12th. Uh, give folks a little information about that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be on February 12th from 6 to 9 p.m. It's $10 for adults and $5 for others. And uh, the father and, and daughter at the Aquarium Recreation Center. And uh, they can go out there and have, have a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a good, good time. Uh, making memories with, uh, I think it's ten dollars for adults, and then uh, that includes one daughter, and then uh, yeah. for three dollars an additional daughter, I believe is how it is, is for that. So yeah. uh, if you go to RoswellConnect.com, you can get tickets for that. Uh, that's a matter of fact. Any uh, city recreation stuff, if you want tickets or passes to the museum or the zoo or the aquatic center or any special events like that. If you go to roswellconnect.com, you'll get tickets and everything for that. That's cool. where you can find all that information. Um, of course, if you have any questions about anything we talked about here, or if you'd like to get a copy of Robert's uh, music CD, gospel music mm -hmm. CD, uh, don't hesitate to reach out and call Robert. Um, go ahead and give out your phone number there for folks. My number is 575 208 and I have a voicemail you can call anytime. Okay, yeah, leave a message if you don't get Robert live there, and he'll, he'll get back to you. He's... He's a man who's out and about busy doing things sometimes. So, yeah. um, very good. Is there anything we missed? Anything we wanted to get that we we didn't uh, fail to cover? Yeah, that bell covered everything. Awesome. Well, good deal. Well, glad to see we're keeping it going in 2022. Lots of busy stuff happening, and seeing a couple things opening up again. It's nice to see the genealogical societies yeah. back opening their doors. So come on out Thursday for their first meeting in in a long time, and uh, get involved there. Yes, uh, I belong to the genealogical society. All right, and uh, yeah, we uh, we're glad that uh, you have the radio station talk show. You do an outstanding job, and we appreciate well, it. And thank you for being a veteran, also. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, we some days we're at it better at it than others. <laughs> <laughs> some days are good, some days not so yeah. much. But uh, thank you guys. Have a blessed and uh, healthy uh, rest of the month here, and we'll see you next month. And hope uh, we got a bunch more stuff to talk about happening next month too. Now, Happy New Year, everybody. All right. Thank you very much. Happy New Year, guys. We'll see you next time, okay? Yeah.